I'm just about to play for you a very amazing video by Prophet Lovi, where he's talking about one of the most biggest mistakes ever that you can make in your Christian life. And he's also speaking about his encounter with uh, Jill Austin. And uh, he's actually speaking about uh, generally a message to everyone and uh, who has always been criticizing these uh, men of God. So there's a culture currently that has actually been on the rise of a lot of uh, criticizing, a lot of questioning. The questioning is not that bad, but you see, sometimes you can question a lot until now the real power of God becomes uh, very diluted to you. Because there are people even who saw Jesus walk on this planet and they still had the same questions that you are having currently. There are people who doubted Jesus. You can, it's clearly written in the Bible. So these are things that have been there, but currently there's been a lot of rise in that culture, a culture of criticizing, a culture of bringing down um, uh, these men of God. And you know, it got me thinking that sometimes as much as we think we are, we are opposing that person, what about the person that sent them? Could we be opposing the person that sent them as well? Because you see, the Bible clearly, clearly says that uh, he sent us to the world. So if we oppose the ones who are sent, will it mean that we are opposing the one that sent them? And what if it's God who sent them? So instead of the gospel working for us, then definitely the gospel will be working against us by the actually things that we brought upon ourselves. So this video is actually an amazing video. It's a very important video. If you have not yet subscribed, please uh, hit that subscribe button because you know on this platform is Jesus 24 hours and uh, we always uh, look for content that will edify us, content that will always help us grow. Because as the Bible says, iron will always sharpen iron. That is what this channel is actually all about. So hit that subscribe button and uh, give this video a like so that YouTube can be able to recommend this video to so many. So that so many cannot be able to make this big mistake. So let me play this video by Prophet Lovi and then we'll get back and just talk about it briefly. The part that I need, we were created to need each other. Wow. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's good. Yeah. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we all have different parts of knowledge, different parts of this. And one of the, uh, one of the most uh, important parts of being a child of God is to understand that there is always another dimension. There is always another level that God has ordained for us. So when men of God sit down and they make it seem like they're okay, they will say that one is fake. Benny Hinn is fake. Uh, Crafto Dollar is fake. Uh, Stephen Fadig is fake. Uh, uh, Joel Austin is fake. So and so is fake. So you're the only one that is true. Mm. Mm. Just look, just think about that logic. Yeah. Just think about that logic. That logic within itself is demonic. Let me just say this and then I'll move on uh, from this so that I'm bringing this to something. A few years ago, I traveled to, um, to is it Houston? Where uh, Joe Austin's church is, is Houston. I had gone to Houston with uh, Prophet Angel. I was serving uh, Papa Prophet Angel years ago. And he was preaching in, in Houston and he was invited to go and meet, um, to see Lakewood and to meet um uh joel austin's mom and joel austin and things like that so i went with him and when we got there joel austin's mom was teaching a miracle class these are things you guys don't see in the service you know you, you on the surface sorry these are things you guys don't know on the surface joel austin's dad was crazy in the miraculous mm -hmm. uh, the father was a prophet the mother is apostolic big time but when you see the man of god preaching you think he doesn't know spiritual things the guy is deep Mm. It's just as not his calling to do what his father and mother did. Mm. 
Do, do, do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. When I went there those years ago, I was like, wow. Look at how in-depth God can be. How God can... Just, there, are mirror, there are people healing people inside of Lakewood. You don't know. Laying hands on people, people getting healed. But it is not Pastor Joel's Austin's calling to preach miracles. Mm -hmm. It's to preach love, faith, and what? Uh, uh, hope, love, and faith. You know, so all these things... Uh, uh, you know, all these things, don't look at somebody and condemn them or judge them on the surface. It is the biggest mistake you can ever make. Wow. It's never what it seems. You can look at me and criticize me. I don't care. But I bet you, I can do more for God than you. Mm -hmm. Anyone who is criticizing somebody, just know you can do more than them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go to the scriptures real quick. Wow. Yeah, so I hope you got that. That is actually quite uh, profound. So, as I was saying, currently, there is actually that culture of just criticizing men of God just because you feel they are doing things that are not uh, maybe on the surface, okay, with you or what you believe in. So, there's been a lot of critique. There's been a lot of complaining. I think that is something that we need to arise from that is something that we need to repent from and to let these uh, men of god be we are we, we are not the ones who call them so we are always just trying to correct them there is someone who called them there is someone that they answer to i think it's time that uh, we let them we let them do what they are called to do and what they are sent to do i can just think about how much uh, even even jalostin how much he has been criticized uh, over the years, but but uh, but uh, I won't go in depth about that really. But that is just something that we've seen on the rise lately, and the critic now has gone to an upper platform. That even on uh, digital space, we've seen people taking time to do these so-called exposés, not even by. In, these uh, respected medias, like for example, we saw the BBC the other day, the way they did that documentary by T.B. Joshua. The whole message there is just clear, it's just to tell us that uh, probably the man was actually fake. But uh, what if, what if, what if that man was not fake? What if he still, he still was sent from God and everything? You know. So sometimes these things we 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 actually just can't tell. I know there's always that famous uh, scripture that people always like to quote and say, you know, we'll know them by their fruits, we'll know them by their fruits. I don't think it's as easy as that. So I'd like to hear what you have to say on the comment section. So there's a guy uh, that is called Prophet uh, Abednego. So maybe tag him. Tag him on this video. Let him get to watch this video. Because in a way, <laughs> he loves to criticize this man of God, like every video is just criticizing, criticizing. So you wonder, is he just the only one uh, left? Is, he, is heaven just going to be him alone and his family? I don't know. Tag him on this video. Tag him on this video. And uh, probably maybe this can reshape his ministry. I don't know. But let me know what you think about this on the comment section. Yeah, let me know what you think about this. See you on the next video.